Hey team, welcome back to Motoring Home. I finally got around to doing another video and uh, as you can see, it's a wide angle this time because I finally got myself a GoPro, which means you can see a lot more of the van. Which means you can truly appreciate how good the van looks. And also means there's gonna be a full van tour video coming soon. Which I know you can't wait for. Because Jean-Luc has it all. And this week's episode is the uh, the cladding in the van, which is all made from uh, recycled pallet wood that I got from Oxford Wood Recycling. Uh, already been denailed for me, so a lot of the hard work was taken out of it. But I had to um, plane it all down uh, and then treat it with um, with some wax oil stuff. Um, you'll see some of that in the video, and uh, some of it you won't see because I ran out of space on the camera. Sorry. Anyway. Shall we begin? Right, you're back up and running after a, a couple of days of me just losing space on SD drives and forgetting my camera bag and not being able to, to download the uh, can't even think. My brain is fried. Um. <laughs> I'm doing good though. I'm just, I probably need a day off at some point. But yeah, um, I'm cracking on. I've got the, I don't know if you can see properly, but I got the, uh, some of the wall insulation is, was already in and then the, I got the damp proof layer in there now. I'm just cutting some small little sections out of the wall panel that I already had done. Um, so that the brackets don't stick out so much when they come down. I may need to do a little bit of jiggery-pokery on that and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Right, bit of a nightmare. Uh, this is, it's been stored behind the garage uh, while I, like I cut it out, got it right size and then I just chucked it behind there while I did everything else and um, I thought it was really dry, but it's, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's got a mouldy, and I really don't want to risk it. There's loads up here. I was going to sand it down and clean it up, but I think I'm just going to get a new piece of ply um, and cut it out. I'll just take the hit, because I don't want mould in there. That would suck. Giant balls. All right, check it out. I've been, uh, I've driven to Abingdon in Oxfordshire today and uh, been to Oxford Wood Recycling. And cool. if I can open the, uh, the door, I have picked up what I'm hoping is going to be all of the cladding uh, and a couple of nice uh, countertops for the van. And it's all in reclaimed, recycled pallet wood. That's what this thing's for, just to clean it all up and get it to the right size and shape and uh, banging on the walls. This beautiful piece of wood is Monterey Cypress. And if you can see there, it's got live ends on both sides and I've got a plan for this to be kitchen workstation worktop and what I'm going to do with it is actually slice it down the middle into two pieces flip one side in flip that side in so basically take the outsides and face them inwards and then attempt a resin pour because I saw uh, Black Forest Wood do that on Instagram or someone posted it on, on Facebook and it looks so cool that I want to give it a go see if I can make a counter out of it so that's for when I've got a little bit of free time when this is getting closer to completion. But anyway, real nice piece of wood. Uh, looking forward to that. Just 
All right, so um, <clears throat> here's the plan. I've got the door shut and the heater on to try and dry out the bit of ply that I was uh, cutting for the sidewall because I want to put a little bit of auto carpet on it. Um, and uh, it's miserable today and it's managed to get a bit wet. So drying that out. I think today I need to crack on with getting the insulation in most of the walls, in the cavities. I'm putting the um, damp proof membrane on top of that. Then I can fit that wall in um, and then I can either start cracking on with building the kitchen side or like the countertop and oven area down on this side or I start building the the pallet wood walls but I got a lot of stuff to do to the pallets so that's just going to take a bunch of days so um, I don't know I'll figure out as the day goes on but um, no, I've got nothing to say I've got myself a planer and a jointer. I've got it set up for planing um, because the boards are thin enough for the walls that I don't need to have them perfectly flat because they'll bend slightly. And I am taking reclaimed pallet wood, which has been denailed by Oxford Wood Recycling. Uh, actually, this is a pretty good piece, but it's, it's rough and, and ready. And then I'm planing it down so it looks a bit more like this which isn't perfect because I don't want it to be honest um, yeah so I want it to be like rough already rustic look but with no nasty bits sticking off it and, and things like that so, and then it's going in the van um, so the other day I started doing it and I couldn't be bothered to set the camera up start and there you go, it looks like that. If it focuses, come on. There you are. So that's what it's gonna look like. This bad boy out. <clears throat> oh, I was dreading having to cut speak holes in with like a hacksaw, not hacksaw, sorry, a jigsaw or something like that in here. So, got a hole cutter that's the right size. Um, so, yeah, it's a beast. I'm gonna make a mess, but I'm gonna get some speakers cut in. Well, there you go. As usual, I uh, ran out of SD card space and then for the next couple of days while I completed it, couldn't be bothered to put the camera on. So, um, you know what? Sorry, dudes. Uh, uh, here's the uh, here's the finished article. As you can see behind me, there's uh, all the pallet wood. There's the back doors of pallet wood. All the sides, you can see the speakers are finished there and cut in. Um, another speaker here, another speaker up there. Uh, all the doors and the, the ceiling with the roof vent cut in. Um, so yeah, 
that is that. Appreciate you watching this episode. Um, look forward to the full uh, van tour episode coming soon. I'm going to show you everything, all the the ins and outs, the um, water, hot water, the bathroom, the oven, the cupboards, the fridge, the sofa bed that I'm sat on at the moment, the guest bed, um, and this awesome wind up and down uh, bed here. So yeah, stay tuned for that um, coming soon. Peace.